It is quite literally five in the morning right now, and I wanted to talk about a topic that's been keeping me up all night. In fact, I haven't been sleeping because I've read an article on The Verge that was talking about the fact that students in engineering programs were struggling with the very concept of understanding directories and folders on a computer. I'll leave a link to that article in the description of this video below so that you yourself can go and read it if you haven't had a chance to do so. So this article states that there is an increasing amount of students in these STEM fields. And you know, STEM includes engineering, it includes the medical fields. These are very bright sparks and yet they cannot grasp the very concept of a file existing in a particular folder on a computer, in a computer directory there. And this has been keeping me up all night. This is quite literally the strangest article I have read online in, to be honest, quite a long time. And I read very strange shit from time to time, all right? This is extremely strange to me because for me, the concept of a computer is something where we store different files in different folders in different places, and we simply manipulate these on a regular basis. I think of my particular field, which is 3D a character art and video game creation. You can't make a video game if you're not organizing your files in a proper way. All of the tools that we use are all built upon having a hierarchy of folders that is very well defined. You know, I'm thinking of things like Perforce, GitHub, all of these file management systems that we use, they all depend on file uh, directories that are very well structured. So what's gonna happen to that when the newer generation starts to look for jobs within video game studios? What's gonna happen to simply proper file management in that context? This may be genuine trouble for our computer focused fields for the future there. I don't think I'm getting any sleep tonight. I may as well just go and make myself some coffee right now. Mmm, take a look at this. Ain't this the most Canadian thing you have ever seen? I drink this by the tub. That's how fucking Canadian I am. I swear this is not a product placement. I'm just a happy Canadian. Cheers! So where were we? Oh yeah, the young generation who simply do not understand how to organize their files within folders there. I personally struggle with understanding their struggle in the sense that for me, this is such an intuitive thing. A file on a computer exists in a directory and you simply access it that way. I guess that's gonna happen if you've grown up and all that you've used so far is simply apps, apps on your phone, apps on your iPad. If you're just used to the concept of apps and having them manage files for you, then I can kind of understand that you never really had to deal with files within directories, within subfolders, and things like Instagram, Facebook, like every modern day social media platform, there's a search function in there that you can use to search for whatever it is that you want really. So I do understand that a lot of these newer platforms, they all allow you to very easily search for things and find documents that you are looking for that particular way. But for me, there's so many cases where I need to organize files on my computer in a way that makes a lot of sense, you know? I can deal, when I'm dealing with a particular 3D project of some kind, I may have sometimes hundreds of variations 
hundreds of iterations of a particular 3D model that I'm creating. Now, that may be a bit extreme. I don't technically need to have that many iterations, but I simply like to have all of that data because it allows me to go back if I am uh, teaching or even if I want to roll back to a previous version and I want to start a different garment with something I've made in the past, it simply helps to have all of these different iterations there of a particular model I am creating there. So when I'm starting a new 3D project, I will create a folder for that and I will put every file relevant to that particular project within that folder. And then I'll have subfolders in there to organize things like my high res data, low res data, textures. I always have a dump folder in there where that is a folder in which I just dump things in in a very disorganized way. But that is usually always things that I know is temporary and that I can erase after I'm done so that I am also conscious of the space that all of these files take on my computer there, that dumb folder literally goes within the recycling bin when I'm done working on a particular 3D project there. So I keep everything in a way that's very organized and I think it makes a lot of sense. It allows me to manage the space that all of these very humongous files have on my computer. It allows me to easily archive 3D projects I have created it allows me to transfer also projects to different people. I couldn't really imagine myself having literally all of the files that I use for all the 3D models that I have somehow all existing within one folder, one giant folder that would at that point contain tens of thousands of files and then somehow having to search through that for the files that I am looking for. That just seems to me like such a disorganized way of dealing with things. But yet it seems that that is what the younger generation is dealing with. That is essentially how they are learning to work with computers and software there. I, I, I need more coffee. I can't help but think about all this and think of my own parents, think of the older generation, looking at all the changes happening within the world with when I was growing up, the introduction and the mass uh, proliferation of uh, computers and the internet there and seeing them really struggle coming to grips with these technologies there. And I'm thinking, wow, that must be how the older generation have been thinking about computers and all of the changes there in the past 10 to 20 to 30 years there. Now, of course, if this is really how future generations will really interact with computers, I personally want to make sure that I'm getting ahead of that and that I really understand this new way of thinking about computers. So one of the thought here that has been keeping me up is the simple question of, in a way, who is, who has to adjust themselves here? Is it the older generation of which I apparently am part of now that is very well versed in having files in directories and really organizing our files in that particular way and really navigating a computer like that? Do we have to adjust ourselves to a reality where now every folder has been flattened to its uh, maximum? And if we are looking for a file, we simply have to always search for it on, a, on our computer as opposed to simply navigate to the proper directory there? Or is it the younger generation that has to adapt to the fact that essentially computers are built on this hierarchical organization of files. Who has the pressure to adapt themselves to the reality of the other generation? You as me, you probably have to really brace yourself for the younger generation simply asking you questions like, hey, this concept of files and folders, I can't even wrap my head around that. What am I supposed to do about that? I'm thinking of people who work within video game studios. I'm thinking of teachers who deal in these technological fields as 3D character art is and 
how are we supposed to approach students that simply do not even understand the concepts of putting files within folders on a computer there? The weirdest thing about this for me, okay, is that I had to spend a lot of time, like I'm sure a lot of you who are watching these videos, helping the older generation come to terms with how computers work and having files within directories. Mom, dad, I had to help you out, figure out your way around computers multiple times. Now, you know, I love you, so don't take this personally. But in a way, I don't really want to have to do that again with the younger generation now. And so I feel as if I'm part of a generation that is quite literally sandwiched between two generations that simply do not really understand how to properly navigate a computer in a way. Now, in no way am I trying to somehow demean the younger generation that is up and uh, coming in our uh, universities because I remember being there. I remember when I was younger and when the older generation somehow were baffled that we really wanted to use calculators pretty much to calculate a whole bunch of stuff. And they were thinking that somehow this would make us a lot dumber there. Um, the older generation that was really adamant about learning every little thing about grammar, because if you don't learn these things, you won't be able to write a text properly. And I was there and simply quite happy using uh, technological tools to simply correct what I'm writing down. I want to be wary of that. So in no way do I think that somehow the younger generation is dumb in any sort of way. I really, really don't think that. And I do think that technology is there to help us. You know, the fact that we have calculators in a way, the way that we, the fact that we have spell checkers, these sorts of things, well, in a way it makes it so that we can concentrate ourselves on higher level concepts. If we don't constantly have to think about the exact grammar of everything that we're writing down because we can trust uh, Google, let's say, to auto-correct what we are writing wrong, then it frees our mind to simply think more about what it is that we even want to write or we want to uh, communicate there. So I do think that technology is to our advantage and that it is to our betterment, ultimately, to really embrace these kind of technological shifts or these shifts in how we approach even the concept of how technology can help us with these more basic tasks that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. But I still just can't really wrap my head around it. It's like, is the concept of directory really going away? Is this a major problem that we're going to have on our hands? Because computers are fundamentally built on having files that are organized in a very structured way in directories there. If you want to work within VFX, if you want to work within games, if you want to work in engineering, you have to understand how computers work in a very deep way, right? So do we have a problem on our hands? Us, the current generation in a way, and who are there to teach the younger a generation. Do we have a problem on our hands? I'm here and I'm teaching 3D uh, character art to uh, people, which is a fairly complicated field, right? And so I have this supposition before I even start to teach someone that they understand how a computer works. They understand that if they are in a 3D program and they want to save a file, they simply do save as, they save it somewhere, they can access it later there. And all the 3D programs that we use are built upon that very simple and basic notion. So I really don't know how I would even approach someone who, let's say, I am mentoring because they want to pick up 3D character art and they don't even understand the concept of files and folders there. How would I even approach someone like that? I'm not even sure myself because for me, this is such an intuitive thing. This is such a basic thing. It's like, if you are here because you are studying 3D character art or you are really interested by this particular field, 
there's not necessarily a lot of things that I presuppose that you would already understand, but I certainly presuppose that you would understand where to save files, and if I give you a 3D file somehow, that you would understand how to navigate to go grab it and open it within a 3D program. I do expect that out of someone to whom I am teaching, and I genuinely don't know how I would even approach someone who does not even understand that. Will I have to start producing classes on outgang.studio that is not just for character art, but also basic file management? Do I need to start to produce classes considering that some of my students may not even understand the very basic concept of having folders on a computer and putting files in there and organizing their files like that? More and more, I'm kind of starting to realize that that may actually be the case. So I'm not sure what we're supposed to do about that. I really need to hear your thoughts on this. First of all, I really want to hear if you are one of these members of the younger generation and this is something that you yourself have a hard time coming to grip with. What do you think of that? Is this just a case of, okay, boomer? Do you perceive people like me to be part of the older generation who somehow don't really understand how to use a search engine properly and then you kind of laugh at the fact that I have my files within directories on my computer in a way that's very organized? Or are you yourself kind of realizing that, hey, maybe there's a little piece of knowledge there that maybe you need to acquire if you want to be able to work within these more complex, perhaps, fields in a way that they relate to computers there? I'd really love to learn how you see all of that. I would especially love to hear if you yourself are a teacher at one of these universities that now have to deal with students who are up and coming within your program, who don't really know what the concept of a file within a folder in a directory of a computer really even is. How do you approach that? How do you deal with that? And how big of a problem do you think this will be? And how do we solve that? Is it on us? What would in this quote unquote be the older generation? to adapt ourselves to the new reality that is up and coming? Or is the burden more with the younger generation to adapt themselves to the fact that computers simply work in a very organized way when it comes to file management there? I know that the answer is probably gonna be a little bit of both, but I generally need to hear other people's opinion on this. So if you've made it to the end of this video, Thanks for watching and please share your thoughts on this because I am dying to hear them. Until next time, everyone, take care.